This was an evaluation of a subset of patients that had mucosal melanoma. So what do we know about mucosal melanoma? That they don't benefit as much from combination checkpoint as cutaneous and other types of melanoma. Uh, they have a lower response rate, a shorter progression-free survival. We need to look at other options. So this was the uh, Lefilocell adoptive T-cell therapy, which uh, is a tumor harvest, a T-cell growth, lymphodepleting chemotherapy, and then infusion of that till with IL-2. Most are familiar with that because this showed a 38% response rate in heavily pretreated melanoma uh, of all types and is currently at the FDA with a PDUFA date in February. So this may be available to us. Uh, there are multiple trials looking at it in earlier line with PD-1 and we're, what we saw in the mucosal population, 12 patients, uh, 12 patients that were pretreated with checkpoint and we saw a 50% response rate. What we also saw is that the response was not contingent on what we calling hallmarks of response to immunotherapy, like tumor mutational burden, not responsible. Uh, what if they were refractory or resistant, had no bearing on response? So that's extremely promising. It brings to us another tool for our patients with mucosal melanoma, which is a, one of the most difficult types of melanoma to treat given the morbidity of the disease.